Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Equivalent Skies. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well and having a good day. Um, we are here. We are here. And last episode, we sort of did all of this. All of this. We had a pretty productive first episode, I've got to say. And uh, the pack has updated. It's now on 1.1, I think. And there's a few like little extra things. I've noticed that there is water here. Water can be obtained by simply breaking or using the Philosopher's Stone on ice, uh, which is very nice. So we've got, I think, ice in here. Let's just do that, because that is very, very simple for us to do. And what we can do maybe is... Uh, I'm trying to find a little place for it. Here, maybe? There we go. Right next to our bed. No, uh, ah. Do I need to do again, don't I? That is the actual block. Yes, I do. I'm hoping that that bed will keep it in. Well, let's find out. Oh, and it's done that. Come on. There we go. We have the water. What do I need to do for that? Just that. Okay, that is done. Excellent stuff. There you go. We've already, like, you know, one minute in, we've already got, we've already got stuff. And I don't know if that is, no, it isn't, it isn't, but there you go, we'll, we'll do that. So we got this and I know one of the things that we need to get is a blaze uh, and we get that blaze powder is my made by pouring, okay, um, XP on sulfur, which is quite interesting. Um, so let's, let's give that a go. <laughs> I have no idea how that works, um, but that is interesting. Um, Oh, do I not have... Oh, is it is it in here? I do have some XP. Yeah, there you go. Not much. Not much. Uh, sulfur. Nope. Sol. I'm guessing. I'm guessing we do it like this. I think. Let's find out. I don't know how much. Maybe, like, put two in. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Let's see what happens. And that's already, there's still one there, okay. Look at that! That is bizarre. What a weird little system, I like it, I like it. Let's get another one, we might as well. Since we have the XP in, yep, we've done that. Let's do that, there we go. That is such a, I like the mechanic though. Bit different. Oh, oh, was that not enough? Oh no, that was not enough. Okay, let's put another one in then. So how much is left in there? Eight, oh, 80 bu millibuckets. That's like an annoying, an annoying amount, isn't it? But okay, let's see. What have, what has that unlocked? Miniaturization. Oh, wow. We like, <laughs> are nowhere near that. Okay. So I think we might have to do uh, some Thorncraft stuff. So Salis Mundus is the first thing. And I think we have got some crystals in here. So let's just get three. I think it's three. Three of the normal stuffs for Salis Mundus, and I think basically, yeah, you need the crystal. So let us do, let us do this like that, like that. So, oh, can I not put these down there? Can I put them there? Yes. And then break them, and you get that. Taha. Yep. There you go. Uh, and we need, we need like a bowl, I think. I believe, I believe, bowl, bowl, yes, and what else is it, what, what did that little thing say, um, there we go, uh, a bowl uh, and a piece of flint, that's what it is, that's what it is, so, that, 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 bowl and, and flint, is that, oh, have I missed something? Uh, three of those strange crystals uh, and ground them with a handful of re oh redstone 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 I don't know it says handful but I presume there we go there we go Salis Mundus that is done where's my quest book there it is complete uh, so we need now a Thorminorma Normacon ah uh, there you go uh, bookshelf bookshelf we need a bookshelf and I'm guessing they're not in there no but do we have leather oh we don't <laughs> okay I'm hoping how do we get 
how do we get um, leather then? In this little mod pack, how can we get it? Drying. We can dry stuff, almost anything by the looks of it. That's quite handy. So that is a, yeah, that is a thing. Crucible. What else? What else? What else? Drying basin. That is integrated dynamics. I, I don't think I've ever played with integrated dynamics. So that's quite an interesting little thing. I'm going to go for drying rack because it is, oh, hey, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Let's put that back. Um, cause I think that's going to be fairly easy for us to, to get. There we go. So let me, uh, let's move you for a second. There we go. Where's the, where's the torch? I like to, I like to keep the place torched, you know, torched up because otherwise, whoop, there we go. You never know. You never know. And then we can basically get anything, it seems. So let's just put a chicken on there and I will let that leatherize uh, so that we can make some bookshelves. So it's a cooked chicken that you need to put on here and this is very, very slow. So I ended up making the drying basin instead, which actually quite cheap. I thought, why not have a look at it and we'll figure it out. Uh, and it is just that. So pretty simple. And all you seem to do is just put it in. And it, and it does it. I don't even know what is really happening. I presume it's just drying. It's got a tank, which is interesting. I don't know what you can put in there, but there you go. Look at that. Look at how quick that was. Um, and this is still at 20, 27%. So yeah, this is the way to do it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Um, let's get those. Let's get that. Bam, 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 bam. And let's do that. Excellent stuff. Bam. And then that. There we go. Boom. We got a Thormanormanormacon. Right. What's the next bit? Come on. Yes. Complete. Is that it? Have we done it? Yes. We have started uh, Thorncraft. Oh. Oh. The Black Quartz. It requires the other Tome of Knowledge. Oh, interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> I did not see that. I did not see that. Uh, so what's this? Ooh. Um, oh wow. So that is, I'm guessing, I think that is to keep thermal foundation. Yeah, it's basically to keep XP. Yes, look at that. Um, so lapis is not too bad. Another book we can do emeralds. That is, that is rather a large ask. That's quite a lot of EMC at this stage in the game. How much have we got there? Not that much. That's 2000 okay so what's that nothing we got nothing for that and that is oh that's 6000 let us chuck this in and let us do this we can do this excellent uh you go in you go in oh, look at us look at us roaming about in in emc so have we got emerald oh oh no we still don't it's 16 isn't it oh man it's so expensive Right, let's get let's get some lapis out then. So one, two, and I probably should get another little bit of flesh because we need we now need more leather again. Uh, so it looks like I'm just going to have to save up uh, until I have some emerald action. Um, in the meantime, maybe we can make some coke oven um, because we need creosote oil, I think, to progress in. I can't remember something we need it for. Uh, I looked in one of these things and we sort of do need it. So I'm going to make some Coke bricks, which is, I think, why we need blaze powder, isn't it? Coke. Um, ah, no, we're okay. This is sand, bricks and clay, which we can totally do. Right then, engineer's hammer. There we go. I've got my Coke bricks. I've got one emerald so far. I'm saving up. I've got another 5,000. So, you know, not too bad. I'm uh, going to put... Uh, yeah, let's put this here. Let's put this here. I wasn't sure then, but let's let's do it like that. Can I get up here? Um, is it like that? I can't remember now. Yes. There we go. And then, boop. So, uh, we basically, is this right? It's been a while. <laughs> I feel like it's been ages since I've done this. Uh... Yes, so we can put pretty much anything in to get some of that. Okay, excellent. What I might do, if I got, yeah, I might, 
I might, I might get some more bonsai pots. I think they're worth it for just the amount that they give us alongside uh, our mob farm, our very, very rudimentary mob farm. I think that would be a, a good little idea. So, uh, what we've got, clay, we need one, I think, what is it? Actually, let's just do it this way. I need five, five for each. Um, how have I got an extra one? Okay. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to make some more bonsai pots. I think that would be a good thing whilst we're getting some of that as well. That's very slow, but we've got look, the tiniest bit of crystal oil. And then that way we get more wood as well. I do need hoppers, a lot of hoppers. Man, everything is already costing so much and I'm still, <laughs> still trying to save up for an emerald. I finally, finally have enough to get a second emerald. Man, that took quite a while. And also, oh, look at this. Look, my little new EMC farm-ish ish um so what i've got is basically two hoppers like that and then chests and just what it means is that uh the the chests can basically have one of these on uh themselves so you don't have to put like i started off putting like you know two two hoppers behind here and then two one of each on each and I, actually I, I tried to expand that and this is the best way that i can come up with right now to get a little bit more a little bit more bang for my buck, basically. So anyway, Tome of Knowledge. Um, I was like having a little uh, Britannia, but I think we're not really quite there yet. Um, Tome. Here we go. Bam, bam. That should do the thing. Yes, it's done the thing. Excellent stuff. And now we can... We can unlock this. Black quartz is needed for getting into actually additions. Yes, it's made by pouring petrothium. <laughs> on regular quartz. The basils needed for the petrosium is made by pouring XP on obsidian dust. Wow. 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 Um, okay. So let's have a look at all of this then. Um, so, now that's smoky quartz. Well, oh, I should just put in black quartz, shouldn't I? Let's have a gander. Let's have a look. So, Tectonic petrothium over nether quartz. Right. Fine. Okay. And that, petrothium dust, we get obsidian, redstone, and basalts. And basalts, basalts, we get from essence of knowledge into pulverized obsidian. Now, how do we get... Ah, can, uh, we don't have... Do we? Ah, we can make this... Wi okay. Okay, I can just about see the path. Now, XP. XP is a bit of an issue, isn't it? Because, like, we're not getting any at the moment because of the old punji sticks. Yeah. So does that mean I'm going to have to change how this works, get rid of the punji sticks, and basically make this like a normal... Um, a normal uh, mob farm again, maybe? Huh, so many questions, so much so much to think about. Uh, so, um, I don't know how this works as well. Oh, look at that. That did, that did a thing then. Hold shift for details. Use while sneaking to retrieve stored knowledge. Um, press V to enable auto collect. So I've got, n what, nine levels? be really nice if I could use the levels and just dump them in here, but I don't know if that is possible. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to have a think about this. Right, uh, so I think I've got it so style. It said in the book that the fluid tank was one of the easiest ways to get XP out of the Tome of Knowledge. So we're going to try that. We're going to try that. Um, what do I not need in here right now? Well, we'll leave that. We'll leave that for now. Let's put you there. So basically, the Tome of Knowledge works. If you shift click, you get um, XP back. And if you just click, you sort of suck it out of yourself. Uh, so, aha, -ha, there we go. Look at that. And is that like on the top? How weird. How odd. Oh, and I need a bucket. I need another bucket. Iron. One, two, three. There we go. Here. Huh, 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 huh. Now I say that, but how much is this? Is this enough for a... Yes, it is. It is, it is, it is. 
Is, can I not put this? Yes, there we go. I can put this in here. That is, ah, there you go. Look at that. Right, so I've made a, a quartz grindstone, and, and it's better, just as a little tip, to use the Certus quartz, because that's only 64 to 256 for the nether quartz, and we do need two of those, I think, as well. Um, so just, just be aware, I've got two obsidian in there, so let's grind these bad boys up do your thing and i can i converted that as well so it's not automatically killing them at the moment which is fine but it just gives us a little bit of xp to work with and there we go so so let us do this then so we'll put that in there you like that <laughs> such a weird like little recipe doing its thing there we go we got that now and i think we i think we need two of these in order to get the black quartz, which will get us, um, like into actually additions. There we go. So now we use that. Uh, oh, and I need more obsidian. Okay. So redstone, one, two, and obsidian. Obsidian, one, two. There we go. Chuck that in again. Another two of that. That's fine. We can do this. We can do this. Can I? Can I swivel and still, yes, I still pulverize. That is how expert I am. Come on, do your thing. Yes, okay. So now, uh, users, we do that. Oh, actually, I, there you go. I only needed one. So now, users out of this, we put that in there. Yes, and we put two quartz on, well, a quartz. Ah, it's just the one. Okay. Yes, it's just the one. I'm getting confused with my quantities. So, quartz goes there. And then you two go in that. And I need to make sure to swap this around now. There we go. And then you should do that for some black quartz. Look at that. That is an insane little recipe. I quite like it, though. There you go. Bam. Is that is that done? Surely I've done the thing. I've done the thing. Yes, I've done the thing. The thing has been done. So there you go. Automatic reconstructor there is now opened. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, that is the next one. I encase in automatic re reconstructor is needed for making basic crafting components in actual editions and things such as saw sand, nether wart, and prismary. Now, it's weird because I wouldn't have thought that that would be the th the first thing to do, I sort of want one of these to make a coal generator because we need that for the mechanical drying basin for this. Like, it needs power. It needs power. Uh, that won't do, apparently. We need a mechanical one, which is why I've been saving up a uh, crystallized mineral. So I think we might we might try and finish the episode by making the mechanical one. So let me get all of the stuff together. Mechanical drying basin is basically mechanical. There you go. It's just two of these batteries with a bit of this, which is why I did that last episode. Ha ha ha. Coming in, coming in handy. And then I think uh, we need iron. One, two, three, four. Because I think for the coal generator... Oh, gen. There we go. We need the iron casing, which is um, that. We should be able to do that. There you go. Four of those. Now, we need to also do this. So, let's do that first. Bam. Bam. There we go. There's the bam. You and you. There we go. And then... Hew, <laughs> oh, it's so close. Iron casing, lovely. Uh, and then what do I need? Coal, and I've got cobble already. And I think, actually, don't we have some in here? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Already done. So, coal generator, done. Excellent. So I'm going to make a mechanical drying basin now. Look at that. That is doing... Doing the powers from the charcoal. And there you go. Look at that. That is doing a thing. So I believe we need to do that. Is that right? And that should do a thing now. Well, that is definitely doing a thing. Magma block. And then does that go in there again? Is that the way? Yes, it is. That should do a thing. Yes, come on. 
Are you gonna say complete? Are you gonna say complete? Yeah, you're gonna say complete. Excellent stuff. And I don't know why we need that uh, to get the blast furnace, perhaps. Okay. Well, that is probably all we're gonna have time for today. Um, we've we've done all right, like not too much. Bit of thorncraft. That was by far the hardest thing to get. And uh, oh, I need to go kill some mobs. Look at that, my mob farm. I think they're all fighting each other. Of course they are. They're evil, evil creatures. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're still enjoying um, Equivalence, guys. I am. It's a bit different, which I like. I like packs that are a little bit different. I like like the different crafting recipes and uh, forcing us to do like new things, new things, which is great. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like it, do the liking, commenting, subscribing thing if you fancy. And I will see you in the next one. I've been Hector. This has been Equivalence, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.